So if you are interested in journalism, you might have heard a phrase that's uh, common oftentimes when people talk about journalism these days. Uh, and the phrase is, if it bleeds, it leads, right? So the idea is a lot of our news is violent on television, uh, print journalism all over the place. And there's a natural tendency to, um, to highlight violence because it sells well, right? It, it has a good image, it, it's dramatic. Um, that's nothing new. And so if we look at some of the, ex uh, some of the items in this case, uh, which is really on how journalism is produced, how it's advertised, um, and how, how the, the industry itself works, how reporting works. Um, we're going to focus on a couple of the smallest items in the exhibition, uh, what are known as cries. So this is a genre of books often intended for children. That's why they're small and cheaply made. And they portray the, the they're called cries because they portray the, the things that people in, um, in a city would have been shouting to advertise goods and wares, right? So these ones are mostly focused on London and you'll see people advertising all manner of things. Uh, in the examples we have here, people are advertising chickens next to the news. Um, people are advertising, uh, you know, buy brooms, um, anything you can imagine. People would have been filling the streets shouting loudly to uh, try to gain interest, try to convince people to come and buy what they're selling. And as you can see in this case, the news is right there in the midst of that. And so there's a sense that journalism has always been competing in a very loud marketplace. And it makes sense that if we move on to, to things like uh, news, newsies, um, newsboys in the 19th century, we're, we're also operating in that way. And so I think we're probably, a lot of us, accustomed to depictions of newsboys out there yelling extra, extra, and you know, uh, highlighting stories about murders and uh, that kind of thing. It's because they're in the middle of a busy space trying to catch people's attention. Uh, and so we can imagine the effect that has on the news that is produced, on what editors select uh, as the stories that they're gonna focus on. So when we think about the, the 20th and 21st century idea that, you know, if it bleeds, it leads, it's really nothing new. Journalism has always been competing in a busy, loud, and boisterous marketplace. Uh, we can see it through artifacts like this.